It's finally time for CarPlay. They got it. We got it right here. Plus, I'll show you a new way to keep your notes in iOS. And I'm going to help you with your coffee routine. Oh, thank God. It's time for iOS Today. Today. iOS Today is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Molecule. Molecule is reimagining the future of clean air starting with the air purifier. For 10% off your first air purifier, visit Molecule.com and enter the code iOS. And by Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile provides the same premium network coverage you're used to, but at a fraction of the cost because... Everything's online. Mint Mobile makes it easy to cut your wireless bill down to just $15 a month with their three-month introductory plan. And get the plan shipped to your door for free at mintmobile.com slash iOS. Hello! Look at that hand egg flying straight at us. Got All right, I guess I have to do in. this. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> to Kansas City. Kansas City where? Kansas. Oh, boy. No, I know it's in Missouri. You do. You know. Yes, you know it's in Missouri. I know it's in Missouri. Do you say where Missouri? We, no. Where we worship. Does anybody say Missouri? Uh, Older folks Old do. folks. Yeah. Missouri. My, it's funny. My grandparents said it as a joke. They lived in the city. They yeah. moved to the country. They said uh, Missouri as a joke. They said Warsh instead of Wash. My mom says Warsh in Washington, D.C. Then it sticks. Yeah. Because it's so much easier to say Warsh. Apparently. In Missouri. Mm. Uh, yeah, they won. They won. Um, the, the boys won. Patrick it, Mahomes showed that he has the right stuff. It was odd. Congratulations. Leo, I was watching the game here on my iPad, and I had jokingly said, Mom, you're going to have to tell me the things I need to say because I don't know. <laughs> but as I'm watching Go it, team. I just got really into it. Yeah, and so yeah. I'm shouting it's in exciting. my room. Yeah. The dogs are going, why are you mad at me? And I'm there like, was no. so much <laughs> shouting in my room, I had to go in another room. <laughs> <laughs> but I did want to report that, uh, and the reason I went to the other room is we had it on the big screen in the living room on the projection screen, but I wanted to see how the 4K HDR broadcast Right. Looked. So I went in my office where I have a nice 4K HDR TV. It looked fantastic. Yeah. I was watching it on my Roku Ultra with the Fox Sports app. Mm -hmm. And it was about a minute behind. So if, if, I, if I liked something, I could run into my office and watch it again. <laughs> that I had instant, nice replay. instant replay. Uh, but it, it really was gorgeous. I was crisp and clear and the... Uh, you know, they did it at 60 frames per second. It was an upscaled 1080p uh, camera to 4K, but it still looked just great. I really yeah, enjoyed it. Especially that. with that frame rate you were kind of, we were talking about 60p that a bit makes a big time. difference. It really did. So I was, and the stream was very solid. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a great job. So. I watched it with the NFL app, um, and I never had any issues with streaming yeah. at all. It was uh, fine. I'm sure there's millions. They've got the point. I remember when it was a big deal. When we had... I think 200,000 views on our iPad announcement. That was like unheard of right? You know, back in 2010. Now millions, and it's it's just business as usual. Yeah. Heck, yeah, Facebook has, what is it, almost 2 billion daily active users? <laughs> how, does, how do you build a network architecture to support that much traffic? It's amazing. I have amazing. no idea. I have no idea. It's incredible. <clears throat> anyway, we uh, were very we were very sad to lose, but to congrats. I was happy because it's been. I was happy for Andy Reid, your coach, because yeah. he's never won a Super Bowl and he deserves it. Uh, Kansas City hasn't won in fifty years, and so they deserve it. So I was very happy. Yeah, my little brother. It's funny. He works at uh, Target, and uh, the schools on Wednesday are not having school parade day, so that you can do the parade. Yeah. My little brother. Uh, he works at Target, and he did a change.org petition to. He He's saying, please help me convince Target that they oh, need to give us the day off to on work? Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, he'll funny. be working. It's going to happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, we've been talking about CarPlay for the longest time. For the longest. And now uh, we've brought in our CarPlay head unit. This you say our, but I want to give you all the credit. This is, <laughs> this is Micah's project. And he built it. He did it. 
And uh, this is fantastic. Whose head unit are we using? It's big. It's, yeah, it's a double din head unit from Pioneer. Um, it actually has behind that main screen there is a DVD slot. So you can watch DVDs on it if you wanted to. It's a big enough, well, maybe not a big enough screen, but it's a kind of I, iPad mini size screen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you have, uh, we have here an inverter because we're taking, of course, the AC power and turning it into 12 volt DC that'll be suitable for that device. Yeah, so if you ever want to have the head unit outside of your car, then yeah, it requires this extra little dealie back here. How much have. is this Pioneer uh, head uh, unit? Let's remember. How much did I spend? Yes, uh, because we got that. <laughs> we own it. Uh, we it should build, I want a, woodworked, a woodworking box. I want a whole I want to do thing. the whole thing as well, yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, a it's kiosk. just had been, it had been delayed for long enough that I wanted to go ahead and make it happen. But uh, No, I'm, I'm thrilled. And do we have a, a – we could put this on the screen. I think there's video out, but we also have a shot of it, uh, a dedicated uh, shot. So let's play with this a little yeah, bit. This is going to be CarPlay it. Day on iOS Today. We now have a new device. iOS Today is normally about the iPad, the iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. Let's add – your car to this and it's by the way time. i would i had a tesla didn't have carplay uh i have uh an audi now doesn't have carplay but our uh chevy bolt has carplay i gotta say i will never buy a car that doesn't have carplay again i mean it is a great convenience you you plug in your phone some of the more modern units including this one can do it via wi-fi or wirelessly not wi-fi but wirelessly as well but you plug in your phone and it immediately recognizes it. There's no pairing. You just have to approve it on the phone. Say, yeah, you can be a CarPlay phone. And then when you get in the car from now on, you just plug it in and your music, everything you've All got, that's there. it's great. We're going to show you some apps you can use with CarPlay. Yeah, so a quick follow-up. Pioneer, this is the AVH-W4500NEX. Uh, it's $695. And then the little... Uh, Inverter that we have here was uh, thirty-one dollars, so bad. total costs around seven hundred fifty bucks to to make this happen. Um, but yeah, this on its own six ninety-five, and in fact, probably by now this will be even more on sale than it is, uh, or, or less cost than it is right, right now, uh, because they continue to improve upon these. Pioneer uh, has one now that the screen is sort of outside of the actual box, and so it's a bigger screen than you already have nice. to kind of match the modern vehicles, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and, and yeah, so one of the things to keep in mind, you know, people are really all about that wireless car play. It is nice that you can, you know, move your phone around however you want to, but when you do plug it in, you're getting a charge to your phone the whole time. Oh, that's nice. Which I think yeah, that's nice. outweighs the benefits, the potential benefits of being able to just uh, have your phone wherever my, you want my to My next be. car has wireless charging and wireless carplay so that's gonna be great that'll be great you put the phone down and it's charging and it's still connected double trouble and did you try it with wireless does it work as well as wired yeah so the wire there's no there's no lag there's no delay i honestly i would love to talk to apple and learn why um they didn't start with wireless uh i know that at the get-go, because you, you mentioned earlier, connects via Wi-Fi, and then you said, well, not really. It's, you know, it actually, you are, when you use wireless, you are connecting to the built-in Wi-Fi connection of the device. It has to be, because the only other way of doing that would be Bluetooth, and that's not fast enough right. to do all the things you'd want to do. Essentially, it's pushing the, the um, user interface and all of the data from the phone onto the box. And so there's not a whole lot that's built into the display or into the unit itself. Um, so that's important. When you're doing CarPlay, these units will have their own interface. Most absolutely. cars will. But when you're doing CarPlay, the Apple iPhone is controlling the display. Mm -hmm. It's not your iPhone's display. It's a somewhat modified. Uh, that makes sense. You're in a car. You, don't, you want bigger icons. You want fewer icons. You don't want to have to spend a lot of time trying to read the display. Right, to so figure out where you need to press buttons. So if we can show... Uh, Does everything on my iPhone show up here or no? No. So that, yeah, that's kind of the big thing right now. So you can see here, this is the main dashboard. And this is a redesigned uh, CarPlay dashboard here uh, where you've got your current location. Yeah, this looks different than the one I've used. So uh, this is the version 2.0. So there's the map, and that's Apple Maps, but you can change the map in the settings to be Google Maps or mm -hmm. Waze. Yes, and then over here, you've got your simple buttons for, oh, I want to go home. You just tap on that. I like and that. And it's going to get you to home, or tap on that, it's going to get you to work. And there's the music. And we then your play music a little Cotton Eye Joe, just if, press play there. Yeah. If I tap on that, then it'll actually take me into the screen. music app. Okay, and including album art and all that. Boom. Of course, we don't have uh, audio out from this right now, so oh, okay. we're not able to hear that, but that is playing. 
Uh, then we go back to the main screen. Now I'm gonna if you tap. Click whoops. The, what do you want me to tap? Click them. Well, go ahead. Do I don't I'm wanna, just gonna go back to the dashboard. There's the here. home. That's the home button. Yeah. Okay. And you see the home button when you're at the home is replaced by the little grid that shows the other uh, applications you can run and on here. These apps are going to change depending on what's on your device. So the only one, Leo, that you're probably not going to recognize is this one. And that is because that's Pioneer's technology. Uh, it's called NEX. But okay. these other ones here, these are the this default is stuff apps. from my phone. So the phone, obviously, phone calls. Yes, making phone calls, maps, There's messages. Apple Maps. And then if I swipe over, you start to see apps that you've added. Audible, Amazon Music, Pandora. Nice. Um, and then, whoops, it's hard remembering which way to swipe. <laughs> You're doing this back, back, like yes. Ginger Rogers, upside down and backwards. Ginger Rogers. So there are a really uh, quite a few apps, but they're mostly the apps that make sense in a car. Music apps, mm -hmm. audio book apps. Oh, you could take a Zoom call. I didn't know that. That's kind of nice. Oh, all right. Um, and then let's see what YouTube music looks like, because I haven't seen this one. So again, these are uh, individual developers can create apps for CarPlay that are wholly separate from their other apps and, and how they're set up. Um, it's but Apple has to approve it, right? Exactly. And this process to approve, I've, I've heard, is uh, a little bit more difficult, a little bit more black box um, than you get with your more standard apps for Apple Watch, well, iOS, etc. One thing you, you, you really want is, is safety first. Absolutely. So you see how big the text is, how big the buttons are. You don't want people fussing with this too much. And, and, and so the, the controls are fewer and, and, in theory, more to the point, what yes. you would want to do if you're driving a car. And, in fact, in many cases, uh, the apps will not let you do too much whenever it senses that right. the parking brake is not on. In fact, right now, uh, one oh, of the wires that is leading from this unit into... Is the parking brake wire? Is the parking brake wire so that it thinks that the parking brake is currently on. So we're able or to that, do more than we would do if we were driving. Yes, exactly. Um, and by parking brake, I don't mean um, the actual pull-up parking brake that some people call about the safety brake. Um, I just mean that the car's fully stopped. Like the, it's the in park. Broke. It's yeah, yes. Thank you. That's what I. That's what I'm okay. trying to say. Okay. Uh, There's Lord a signal mercy. the car sends to the head unit saying, "I'm in park, so mm -hmm. you can play movies." So or, you can do all that jazz. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have a camera, right? If I did a Zoom call, it would be an audio only. Uh, that. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Okay. Um, so we'll go back to the main screen for now, but uh, go ahead and try doing a Siri command. Really? Yeah. Tell Micah I'm leaving. <gasps> so. So. There you there you have it. That's, pretty cool, that's right? Pretty much uh, the Siri experience in a <laughs> yes. nutshell. Uh, so so that's interesting. So I did that right to my phone. Yes. Hey. What time is it? Oh, it did it. It did it, Leo. Oh, it did it? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. so oh, I know why. Because you don't have it. We show. don't have audio out. Mm -hmm. So you would hear Siri saying, working on it. Yeah. Almost the there. Time. Done. So what do I need? I, uh, what Siri commands and could I, should I be, do? We should be clear too, Leo. It's not using the microphone in your phone. Uh, there is oh, it's, a it's microphone that's connected oh, to the okay. back that you can wire into your car or wherever you want to. So you kind of have to, you'd have to take the, if you don't get this professionally installed, which is a recommendation for some people, of people course. like me, I like to do it myself. Um, and so I would take the panels. I've done this before to run wires really? in the current one. Yeah, you take some of your panels down and you can uh, wire this to wherever you want it. That's a pretty uh, decent size microphone there. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you could clip, it has a clip so you could put it in on fact, your visor if you wanted to. I sometimes use this. This is a lot of air. Beyonce recorded her first album on so, one So So when I say, hey, Shlomo, that goes into that microphone. Yes, that uses this microphone what because can I it do? knows it's connected to your Hey, car. Siri, open ways. Put open in that point. Ba-da-ba. -ba. It, uh, uh, what? When say follow instructions on your phone. It did. To continue, to continue. So that's very handy. Mm -hmm. Or take me to, uh, I don't know, never mind. A disco. Because <laughs> it, it's triggering my stuff instead of yours. So it knows your. Take me home. Country roads to the place. Look at that. There's that is grass. awesome. All there for the world to hey, see. Hey, Siri, <laughs> go. Or do I have to hit that button? I don't know. That's a good question. Go. Siri, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, and as you drive, that's right. Um, I think you would have to hit the button, but 
it also knows that as you're driving, if yeah. you're following that one route, because it's giving you two different routes. So oh, I have to choose the route, route, too. Yeah. Oh. So if you started taking one of those, then it would know that's the one you want to go on. Uh, <laughs> Almost. No, no, that's not. That's just an ETA. Oh, look, here's my calendar. <laughs> yes. It's time for iOS today. And I don't know if you can tap into that even. Even. Oh, look at that. To get more details. Look at that. I can show the address. And I can press the navigate button if I want, and uh, it'll open up a map and take me to work. Hey, that is really convenient. And then it'll start to take you on that route. You're already um, here. And then uh, this is a nice place to send an ETA if you don't use that shortcut. Let me. Can I do that? Yeah. Let me take it, have it route you to home again. Jiggity jig. How long is it going to take me? Forever. And then. Um... I can send a text or something. There we go. So there's the the button in the bottom uh, corner. I'm going to take that down again. Oh, an interesting thing happened, by the way. Okay. My uh, watch, because I, we were doing this in Apple Maps, my watch has put the directions up on the watch. Oh. And does that thing, you know, where it says turn left? It goes <laughs> So I think that's really nice, because then I'm not necessarily just watching the screen. Mm -hmm. My watch is also giving me... Uh, uh, you know, vibrational signals. And you're able to heat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Signals. Exactly. I think that's great. Um, so I just showed there was a, there's a little kind of bottom bar that pops up. So I can tap. Who's that going to send it to you? Yeah. So currently now no, it's sharing. It to Jennifer, no, don't be worry. Very confused. Uh, Why are you telling me this? <laughs> so it is currently sharing your route with me so I can see. Oh, look at that. You're going to come. OMG. Which is one of my favorite sure features of maps Jordy. in general. <laughs> OM Jordy. Yeah. <laughs> that is really good. Um, so, yeah, let's let's pop into... I know that uh, Russell Ivanovich, uh, he and his team at Shifty Jelly have done some really good work with uh, pocket casts on... on um, yeah, yeah, one of the things you're going to want to do is choose which podcast app which music app which map app i mean you can have more than one on there but the defaults will be the one that'll pop up when you use siri and things like that oh the tech guy good to know Leo listens to his show i listen to my own show the, exclusively pathetic, isn't it <laughs> so sad. Uh, oh it was 12 seconds in yeah i only listen to the beginning to see if i'm there that's a good that's a good <laughs> if leo's not there i don't want to listen to it <laughs> love it um yeah so overall um, depending on what devices you or what apps you use, you'll have some of those apps that are available there to use with CarPlay. Um, essentially, it takes... Now, this only works with an iPhone. It doesn't work with my iPad, right? Exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. So this Too is bad. an iPhone technology. And here's what I think. So um, Amazon's... Amazon. Android's version... Um, what is Android, it? Android Auto. Android Auto. Thank you. I was thinking Android in the car. Uh, <laughs> Android Auto... There's a way to, with this big screen phone that you have, activate Android Auto using that device. There's an app called Android Auto. There isn't an app called CarPlay. Correct. And I think that that is a failing on Apple's part, personally. I would love to use my iPhone as a CarPlay device if I don't oh, have CarPlay. That's a good point. And the fact that we don't have that is odd that's to me. That's odd. Yeah. Uh, so... This only works with the iPhone. Correct. You don't need any special software to download on the iPhone or anything. You just plug it in. Plug it in. Does this it. Pioneer head unit support Android Auto as well? It does, yes. In general, it's not always the case. I think BMW doesn't support Android Auto, but most cars, if they have CarPlay, they they'll also have, have Android, Android Auto. Auto. Yeah. Um, and I think for a while, BMW was even charging people for access to CarPlay, which they knocked off. <laughs> Good. Because that's not right no because it's free they're not, it yeah they're not doing a, anything yeah. to, to make it special happen yeah so uh it, it's it's a simple technology but i think one of the biggest things is that apple continues to improve upon it um it started out a little bit uh it started out with a kiss how did it end up like this um it started out a little bit uh, confusing for sure and didn't quite have all the functionality but the redesign as of ios 13 with again let me head back to that home screen um, the dashboard functionality is really nice. I think it's a lot cleaner. Because you yeah. can see everything that you need right there, kind yep. of the stuff that you would want to do. And with messages, um, let me try sending you a message here, Leo. Somebody Send in the chat room, Leo Scooter X is saying, hello oh, there, sorry, exclamation sorry. point. Okay. Well, let's see if my messages show Here's up. Your message. Ready to send. 
Huh. Okay. It's sent. Oh my God! Look, Mike has sent me a message. Yeah. Notice how quickly that came too, which is <laughs> which is great. And if you were to tap on that, it's not going to show you the message. It will it read, would it, read it out to you, so nice. that way you're keeping your eyes on the road. So yeah, I mean, I normally have it set so that if somebody sends me a message while I'm driving, it says I'm driving. I'll get back to you later. Yep. Because I don't want any distractions, and you could still do that. But uh, if you if you were uh, of a mind to hear your messages, that would be the way to do it. Scooter X is pointing out that if you have knobs and dials, this head unit, of course, is standalone. But if you have a CarPlay enabled automobile that came with CarPlay, mm -hmm. the knobs and on the dials on your car will also work with CarPlay. So you'll have ways to s scroll and select that will be different than just touching it. You don't have and to And I touch think it. that's so important. Um, those tactile controls are so important because we learn how to use tactile yeah. controls without having to see those that's controls. That's the key. You don't want to have to look at it. Yep. Yeah. You need to be able to do it completely hands-free, and I think that's a really important And I have to, I'm not part. sure, I'll have to try it, but I would assume that if the controls on your steering wheel work with your uh, car, CarPlay would work with it as well. Yes. Which would be great uh, because then you don't really, you never take your hands off the steering wheel. Which and what's kind of nice, this actually does have the ability to connect to uh, your steering wheel controls. Ah, um, nice. So even as a third party unit, you can connect it to your steering wheel controls. Uh, that's actually one of the big features that they tout because not everyone does. You have to buy adapters for certain ones. Yeah. In fact, their scooter is talking about uh, adapters to make the steering wheel. But this one is ready. Comes this out, one, of, the, out yeah. of the factory ready to go. Out of the box. Out of the box. But let me show you. Uh, which side is that on? I think that's the eject button. <laughs> your no, DVD player is hysterical. I think this is hilarious. Oh boy! Future. <laughs> <laughs> that is what people thought the future would look like. <laughs> All this weird I'll mechanisms have, of yeah, and I'll have a DVD player in my car. Which I I don't get it. I don't. Um, who? Why? Well, sometimes you have screens in the back seat. You could play that. With, makes sense, you know, I guess. Let and it, let it go for your kids or. This uh, does have a video out for a rear monitor. Oh, there so, you go. Yeah. That's why. Or uh, you could be stuck in a line or something, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend watching movies while you're driving. And I certainly don't think the car is the ideal place to go watch a movie. I agreed. Your little, what is that, a seven-inch screen, six-inch? Yeah, at the most. It's not huge. Good. Yeah. So we will, um, as we, I think... You know, there occasionally we'll find apps that really use CarPlay quite well that we might cover or feature. If you have, uh, you know, an app cap that's a CarPlay app that you want to talk we'll about, we'll be able to show it. We'll be able to show it there. And I installed a few extras just to see how it worked. I put Pandora on there. YouTube I saw that. music. I was, I was going to give you guff about having Pandora and being old, but you, you put it is, on there for the sake of is trying. Pandora for old folks. I have iHeartRadio on there. That's fine. Okay. There's reasons uh, for that. So, But the problem is not every app will work with CarPlay. In fact, it's really only been in the last year or so that you start to see a lot of third-party non-Apple apps like Waze working with CarPlay. I'm, I think that's great. I love it. Uh, but yeah, again, sort of like HomeKit, in the beginning, they made it very difficult to... You had to contact the right person. It'd take a long time for you to hear back. You had to do this, do that. Every developer needed to get either a car that had CarPlay yeah. or get a CarPlay unit I'm thrilled to see stuff like Zoom home. on there. That means WhatsApp probably works on there and other... I'm curious yeah. about Zoom, honestly. I think yeah. that's great. Um, yeah. yeah, so I will do my best to keep an eye on this as well. I currently have a vehicle that does not support CarPlay and is only single DIN as opposed to double DIN. Um, but well, and I have a vehicle that's brand new that supports CarPlay that has the old version. That's right. That's the other problem is now, that car manufacturers aren't used to doing a lot of updates, software. That's updates. interesting to me. So you have the old version of CarPlay in the car and... You'd have to get a firmware update. Ah... Uh, Maybe even a, so I don't know then, if you need a hardware update, but yeah. See, it was my understanding update. that the that the UI and everything came from the phone. Oh. So that, what you're telling me is it must well, not, there must be some stuff. Let me get in the car the and see, but as far as I remember, it's the same UI. Didn't is this change. a car you don't drive very often? Yeah, it's my, my wife's car. So oh, it gotcha, may gotcha. be that it has updated. I apologize. I'll, you want me to go check right now? Really? Yeah, she's here. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to tell us a little bit about our sponsor. What do you say? I think so. Yeah. Let's do that. <sighs> notice how clean the studio is here. How it, Noel, notice how good the air is. Yeah, our studio audience comes in here. They go, 
You know when you notice it is when there are fires or there's pollution, yes. when there's smog, and you come in here and you go, wow, I can breathe. That's because we have a molecule in here. We started in the house because Lisa had allergies. She would get headaches. Molecule fixed that. In fact, we know when the molecule is not turned on. Every once in a while, somebody will come in and unplug it, the housekeeper or whatever. And, and Lisa will wake up. She said, the molecule's off. I have a headache. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, well, she, that's what's amazing. She really knows Or when we travel. Uh, we liked it so much. We got one for Michael, our son. Now we have one in the studio. Molecule makes air better. 80% of people living in urban areas are exposed to air quality below the World Health Organization's standards. And if you're in a an office, a sealed office, it's even worse. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time to get a molecule. Now, now, one thing I want to tell you about the molecule, it's more than just a HEPA filter. HEPA filters were invented during World War II to take particulates out of the air. Okay. But all, molecule does something even better. It has something they call photoelectrochemical oxidation. It's been tested and verified by third-party labs like the University of Minnesota Particle Cala uh, Calibration Laboratory, Intertech. So what it has is it has a specially designed metal sleeve in there that captures these super small air pollutants and microparticles that aren't trapped by any filter. It stops them, traps them, and then destroys them, destroys them, with special UV light. Ooh. In fact, that's why you have a little blue ring on the top of the molecule. It's really cool. You can see it going to work. Truly amazing. So it doesn't just get little particles. It gets mold spores, viruses, things like the the uh, that new virus. It's the novel coronavirus. Uh, volatile organic compounds. You know, when you have new carpets, formaldehyde, off gases, it captures and destroys it. No HEPA filter can do that. It captures paint fumes coming off the wall. We have all sorts of stuff, especially in these sealed offices, coming off of our furniture, our clothing, everything. The, the molecule traps it and destroys it. That is what you need. Not only is it personally effective for me, but it's been verified by science, tested by real people. Allergy and asthma sufferers around the country are thrilled about the molecule. You will, too. It'll help you sleep better. And it gets rid of those morning blues, I got to tell you. Molecule provides air purification for the whole home. We have the Molecule Air for our studio because it's a pretty big space. But there's now the Air Mini for smaller rooms. Choose the unit that's best for your space. You can also create a bundle. In fact, that's what I would do and get molecules so that you have it throughout your office or your home. I am a fan. 10% off your first Molecule right now. M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E dot -E -E com. Molecule with a K. And do use the code IOS so they know you heard it here. Uh, we thank Molecule so much for making a product that has changed my life and Lisa's life, but also for sponsoring iOS Today. We thank you for supporting iOS Today by going to Molecule.com and using the offer code IOS for 10% off your first air purifier. The tr Ooh. It's amazing. It, it destroys those particles. On we go with the show. It's news time. It's time for the news. <laughs> Up first, Apple hits 1.5 billion active devices. That's kind of, again, mind-boggling. We've been talking about these numbers, Facebook's numbers, where they're, they're now over, what is it, uh, two, it's like 3 million monthly active users. Apple, uh, 1.5 billion devices, now probably about 80% iPhones. Yes, Then iPads exactly. and Macs. But that just, and that's active. That's not like it was sitting on a shelf in your house. That's in use. Yes. And not only that, but eighty about 80% of those devices are using iOS 13, the most recent version That's of iOS. That's also a huge success, especially when you compare it to Android. That's the big problem Google has with Android. Uh, they just can't get people to upgrade. Which... You, uh, Same thing with Windows. When we're talking about security uh, and difference. privacy, it's such a big deal yeah. Uh, yeah. to have these devices running the latest version and to keep people doing it. And I'm curious, Leo, I mean, you are a more active user of multiple platforms. Yeah. What do you think it is that separates Apple's update system or their what why do people upgrade more often that's a good there? question um because it really isn't that apple pesters you to upgrade in fact right. they don't for a few weeks mm -hmm. uh and even then they don't really pester you. you just they say we have an update you want it yeah you got the little red um 
I think there's something about uh, iPhone users, Apple users, where they are more actively seeking the updates. They, I think, are more engaged with their device, I would oh, guess. Oh, okay. Uh, I can see that. And, and uh, certainly if you buy an iPhone, you buy it, I would guess, primarily uh, for ease of use. Mm -hmm. But many of us buy it for privacy and security. And, of course, updates do both. They help your privacy and they fix security flaws. So... I think that might be another reason. That the yeah. reason that people buy iPhones, they want to keep them up to date because they want that additional privacy and security. I don't know. It's a really good question. 80% is unheard of. <laughs> right. It's kind it's unheard of unheard of. Anecdotally, I know the 20%. Um, and so that's why I'm that's especially curious. My my mom, my friends, yeah. I'm always kind of not shaming them, but sort of shaming them. Like, oh boy, you still, you still have an update today? Uh, and so I'm curious... Yeah, I want to. I think know they. That I think they end up getting updated by. Oh. By hook or by crook, right? Yes, absolutely. They, so yeah, they eventually get scooped up that's into it. Probably but. why Apple has such a high number. They don't pester you; they just upgrade. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, you're done now. Yeah. And so, and but that's how it. Sh I I hate to say it, but that's kind of how it should be. There are lots of reasons on other devices, especially Windows computers, not to upgrade. It breaks things. If you have Mac. OS and you're and you using 32-bit apps going to Catalina might be scary because it's going to all you're going to lose all yes. those 32-bit apps, but you don't get the same kind of negative response from upgrading iOS. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, your apps. I don't think I've ever had an issue where an app stopped working when I was updating to an actual release version of the OS. Yeah. Um, and so, folks that you know, yeah, they're using their Windows machine and suddenly uh, offices. Print print to template button is in a different place. That's that makes people gonna crazy. Make, yeah, that's going to make you. Well, we've gone through that with iOS. I know people with older iPhones like the six and the 6s who are still on iOS twelve and who don't want to go to iOS thirteen because they don't like the gestures. They like the home button. Yes. So there is that. Mm -hmm. So it's, you can't say that that doesn't happen in iOS land either. I hmm. I just don't know. I think maybe also I I got another theory. I'm throwing stuff against the wall. Yeah, well, let's see what sticks. People buy new iPhones. And, of course, you get the iOS 13 if you buy a new iPhone. That's a good point. So the the big, uh, I think the big success story for Apple is how many people upgrade their iPhones, mm -hmm. right? And it, and that may be a good part of this 80%. It's just people who bought new iPhones. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Hmm. I don't know. That's a really good question. Oh, That's a I really knew. good question. I uh, I, I, you You wish you know, but, you know, Microsoft and Google <laughs> sure, wish all like, they knew because <laughs> we all, I mean, everybody wants users to upgrade. It's its good for everybody. It, it improves the, the security of the ecosystem. Uh, it's just like getting a flu shot. Everybody should be getting it so that fewer of us get sick. Everybody needs the iOS update. So uh, the fewer of us get sick. And so I think we all wish we could figure out what is Apple doing right that everybody else should be doing. These upgrades are very important. You know, Renee, you'll have to ask that on Mac break maybe. Um, Renee made the joke, makes the joke pretty regularly that uh, it is because of new emoji that people upgrade. That Apple can Ooh, kind of dangle that out there. Wait till you see the new emoji. Yeah, and that did you read how many emoji there are? I don't know how many there are total. I know how many they're rolling out in 2020. Or this year, yeah. Well, I can't remember the number, but it was a vast number. It's I mean, because of all the... There used to be, like, what, options. 128 emojis? Yeah. There weren't... <laughs> I think there's thousands now. Yeah, and, and a lot of the reason for that is because of the different um, options that you have for individual emoji. And what's what I love is that the emoji subcommittee of uh, Unicode came up with this clever way of easily introducing new emoji uh, without having to adjust the original character set of emoji. And it's called the Swidge, um, or the Zwidge, rather. It is the zero width joiner. And what the zero width joiner allows emoji to do, um, or allows Unicode to do, is take two individual emoji, put a Zwidge between it, and then the system renders that as one emoji. So an example of that would be the uh, dog that has a safety vest on so that it is a, um, a service animal. animal. Or yeah. service animal, yeah. Uh, that is not an individual emoji in and of itself. It is actually the dog emoji and the safety vest emoji with a zwidge mm -hmm. between Swidged. it. Zwidged. Yeah, zwidged. Yeah, Zwidged. Exactly. Uh, so that oh, way that's they don't have to create a bunch of new So there characters. is a safety vest emoji? Yes. Yeah. 
uh, which I think is is a pretty nifty idea there. So there are 117 newly approved emojis. They'll be coming in 13.2. Well, we never know for sure yeah. when they'll come to. They've they've only this been approved kind of by Unicode. So there's a woman in a tuxedo and a, a bride with a mustache. Yes, I'm not going to say man or woman. I don't want to be sexist. Well, they do. No, they they actually that's they are. It's it's covering all. There's this is a woman. This you get is all a man, the choices. And this is a, a non gender conforming. A gender neutral, individual. and I know that because he's wearing a she. It's they're wearing a Santa hat. No, no, no. That's just a gender neutral Santa with a switch. Well, maybe maybe it has a switch. I don't know. I don't know what makes it the switch. But oh, I see. So there's Santas of all types. They have gender Santas, neutral Santas, male, female, and, and gender they. neutral. Yeah, uh, male, female, and gender neutral parents. Breastfeeding. Yeah. Well, they're not. Or not breastfeeding. That's not sorry, a breast. Feeding. If you think that's a breast, I want to talk to you later after right, the show. All right, let's talk later um, after the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a funny one. When what what is that? In what culture? Uh, I know, feel it's like Italian. that's Italian. Is it? Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's like a curse. No? This to me is like... Does what are you thinking about? mean up your nose with a rubber hose? What are you thinking? What? What are you what? doing? What does it mean? Chef's kiss. He it's a chef's it's, kiss? I don't know what they actually call it. Let's see. I'm going to go to Emojipedia. They got the Groucho Marx uh, I love mask. the Groucho Marx They got Marx ninjas. One. And also the, hap the tears of joy. The, uh, the number of times I want to do tears a of joy. smiley with a tear instead of a frown. Smiley with a tear. Capiche. I like hey, it. Hey, capiche. It's a zwidge. Capiche. All right, whatever that is. Where is... Then here's... There's a fondue, and I guess the, the Swiss lobby really made sure that they put the Swiss... <laughs> right. Flat, red, cro white cross uh, on they it. They just call them pinched fingers. Pinched... Yeah, because they are very neutral. That's a boba drink, though. There's that no is. question about that. Ah, uh, is that a tamale? It's, is it... I think it's supposed to be a tamale. I can actually tell you. And we're looking, by the way, every company will render this differently. These are the kind of, uh, this is from Emojipedia. They're probably from Uni the Unicode Consortium. Absolutely are, yeah. Kind of suggested, but you can make it anything you want. They do have a text description that will tell you. What's interesting, too, is that the artist uh, on the... A mermaid seal. The artist that <laughs> works on the Unicode uh, subcommittee um, is... Wait. Oh, gosh. Are you telling me they didn't have cats before? They didn't have a black cat. It's a black cat, specifically. Oh, wait a minute. Now we have to have different races of cat? <laughs> races. Very funny. Uh, by the way, I want to do an update. It's woman in tuxedo, man in tuxedo, and then person is what they go Person. For. So woman, man, and then person. That's all you need to know. It's a person. Uh, that, That's a woolly mammoth. Yes, it is. In fact, they really uh, doubled down on the extinct creatures because that's a dodo. Mm -hmm. Bison. Almost extinct. Excuse me, Bisson. Bisson. <laughs> Bisson Frigé. That's, well, I don't want that, to say it. That's a beaver. That's a log. That's a rock. That's a, boy, that, at that's least a there's grim. a flower on the gravestone. I like that they have nesting dolls. They didn't have plants before? I think it's a specific plant. Oh, feather. Curtains blowing with the sun in the wind. Teapot. I think that's funny. I don't a know what sign? it is. I don't know. It's a, a nondescript sign, a, a rat trap, coin, magician's wand, needle, and thread. Oh, they call it a placard. That's Spit a placard. bucket, uh, <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, bongos. <laughs> is that a bongo? No, it's a conga. They conga call it a drum. long drum. <laughs> long drum <laughs> as opposed drum. to the short drum. Right. Car, toothbrush, boomerang, pinata. Nesting doll. Yeah. I or, love the nesting or doll. Or Matryoshka. Ah, Matryoshka. Matryoshka. A Matryoshka doll. Flip My flop. Matryoshka. That's Isn't that the creepiest hug you've ever it seen? It is a little creepy. What do they call that melting hug emoji? That's a don't hug me, I'm scared emoji. Um, I'm going to learn tools. that's probably something very sweet and I'm being mean about it. <laughs> and it's going to bum me out. It looks like sugar-free <laughs> gummy bears. Sugar-free gummy bears touching each other. <laughs> touching each other. Uh, the, the official name is people hugging. Oh, and by the way, the black cat, Yeah. it's a zwidge. It's a normal cat and the black square is what makes the black cat. Oh, so you're not saying that uh, it actually is a black square on top of it. It's just when you combine the two, you yeah. get a black cat. Sh Kevin, show my. Can I have a red show cat? My iPad, please. Oh, so look. Normal cat black emoji cat plus black square equals black cat. 
all of the the new clauses. So MX clause and then Mr. Clause and Mrs. Clause. So person feeding baby is the um, person emoji plus a baby bottle with a switch yeah. between to actually render the character. A polar bear is a normal bear with a So if, if I want to type this, I have to type bear snowflake? No. It will, Apple will render it as is but behind the scenes unicode is actually doing the unicode for the bear emoji the unicode for the uh snowflake emoji and in between they're doing the unicode for the zwidge uh, uh symbol and then and 17 new that zwidges that's amazing <laughs> the pinching hand emoji is a lot writes jane solomon one new emoji that was quickly oh dear she's <laughs> okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there's a big difference between this mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. and well we'll just have to see how apple renders it oh that's not this no that's well that, this. this is a different one this is not the same thing oh they already have this emoji oh this, this emoji is from last exists. year so, yeah okay okay uh, all right. Fascinating. Here, I'm going to send you, Leo, because so this I know is you want to know. All right. Forget that I even mentioned it. Yeah. These are all of the emoji zwidge sequences. There's a whole list of emoji that are not actually individual emoji, this but is instead from, uh, emojipedia. are the combination. The definitive source of all, all emoji knowledge and wisdom. We just had him uh, live in the studio. Jeremy Bruges. We love Tech Jeremy. News Weekly. Yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, anyway. So that's, uh, that's he's emojims. A, he's a member of the, he believe is. it or not, Unicode Emoji con Unicode Consortium Emoji Committee. Emoji Subcommittee. Subcommittee. Yeah. Not a full committee. Uh, now, and it's interesting, they have a, <laughs> uh, Emojipedia has a voting option for the subcommittee, but it's only half of a vote. They only get half a vote? Only gets half a vote. This much of a vote? Yeah. Why okay. are there flies in here? Oh, wait a minute. We got to turn up the molecule. JK, that was a reference to the office. It was just a fluff. But um, Angela says, why are there flies in here? But it was just fluff? During a, no, it was actually a fly, but it's funny because, so this was during a talking head. Angela says this, and it was not actually. Um, it's scripted. Scripted. There really was a there fly. There really was a fly because they had just. You can't really script a fly because you can't, you can't count on them. Uh, they had just filmed a scene Very hard where to train flies. Dwight was putting uh, fruit and uh, vegetables into the vending machine and, it and like, hammered flies. them in. <laughs> so it was full of flies because somebody forgot to empty it. And so she's doing her talking head and then she goes, why are there flies in here? And they just kept it in. It's, it's pretty good. Damn, I missed non that show. Um, Apple has a Vladimir Putin problem, did you know? Yes, I did know. In fact, we talked about this on Sunday because in July of this year, mm -hmm. the Russian law that says... All phones will have to have some Russian apps, Russian-made apps on the phone. That's when Apple's going to have to face this difficult choice. Either they do something they've never allowed anybody to do, which is because they don't let carriers do it. They don't, they don't let anybody put uh, bloatware. Apps, bloatware on their phone or leave the Russian market. They, I, my suspicion is... They're going to accede to it. They're going to let Russia do it. There's, a, there's, there's an aesthetic component to this they don't let verizon put all those red apps on the iphone when verizon sells it mm -hmm. that's aesthetic in in russia there's also the security and privacy issue of what are these apps and right. i don't want an app that shows me a new photo of vladimir putin every day well you know on to to put myself in the shoes he wants an app of the russian me. uh duma or whatever they call it these days uh you could say that very reasonably they're saying, look, we want to, this is all, this is an American phone with all American apps. We want to promote Russian products. Oh. It'd be nice if there were a Russian language, Russian design, Russian made in Russia chat app on there. So it remains to be seen what apps they want to put on there. Uh, so you, it's just a You concern. don't like it. Nobody likes it when on Samsung's phone I get two browsers, a Samsung browser and Google Chrome. I get two messengers, Google's Android Messenger and Samsung's Messenger. They even have the same name. Uh, it's two different video apps, two different that that's that's unesthetic. Right. There's this larger concern that Russia might put something on there that's a security or privacy hazard. Apple wouldn't have any control over that. But remember, 
As Apple always says when we ask them about China, well, we obey the laws of the countries that we do business in, and we have to. And so I think this is a tempest in a teapot. I don't think Apple's going to, even though it's only a $3 billion only, a $3 billion market, I don't think Apple's going to abandon Russia right. over this principle. I think they're just going to say, well, you know, it's the law of the land. Any more than they abandoned China when China said you have to put your iCloud servers in China. You, I mean, this is just this. Uh, now, the the reason Apple might be concerned is if they do it for Russia. Well, you know, China's going to do it, and everybody, uh, you know, uh, if uh, who who knows what other countries will do it. So sort this is going to be, you know, a slippery slope. But I just don't see Apple abandoning Russia over this. Do you? No, it doesn't make sense. I, well, it's it's kind of a bummer. Um, it's easy for for me to say that obviously as a person who's not you know ha trying to make sure that the company continues to be well viable. think about this i mean a lot of people say oh three billion dollars just who cares Pfft, what that's yeah, a lot that's, of money that's a foolish that's thing a, to say you know and that's a growing market and one of the things apple's having a hard time finding is is new and growing markets um on the other hand if they move out and then india or china does the same thing yeah then are they going to move out of those markets? They're a lot bigger, more important to the bottom line. And okay, so let's say they stay. Then does India and China say, okay, good, let's put some apps on the iPhone? And then how long before T-Mobile and Verizon? Exactly. Say, that's well, and that's, if they're doing it, we want some apps. We better on there. get to do this yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, oh boy. It, it is this. It is the state of affairs in the Android world. It's one of the reasons people buy Google phones so they don't have to put up with all the other third-party apps from OEMs, but. Man, I don't know if I want them to do this because it's only because I don't want the precedent to be set. Which which would you like them to do? I would well what, what would I, you prefer? What I think they're going to do is as stay you said, in Russia. We'll stay in Russia. But you'd like them to leave? I well, I would love a third option, <laughs> which is that they get to stay there without having to do this thing, but that's not gonna happen. It's really an interesting situation we're in. This is a global economy. Uh the internet in particular, but technology in general is absolutely global. Uh, all of the companies that we talk about are big multinationals. They work in many, many countries. Mm -hmm. The laws that govern the internet and technology are different in every single country. What's what's a country to do? <laughs> what's a country to do? What's an apple to do? What's an apple to do? I don't know. What's a dollar? Uh, what's four I mean, billion? What we don't, we certainly don't want a world where only in America you can only buy American products, and in right. Russia you can only buy Russian right. products. That's not a good no, solution. No, there's that's that undoes the global market. Right. And that's not good. Put up big walls? Oh golly, the walls are coming back. I don't um, know. It's a very it's very challenging. Yeah, I do not envy them having to make this decision, but I guess we'll keep an eye on that's it. That's why they get the big bucks. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly right. You make those big bucks yeah. as long as I don't have to deal with it. Uh, this actually I'm really excited about. So for the longest time when you went to iCloud.com on your iPhone or other iOS device or on Android, uh, Apple would push you to an app, an actual, uh, well, in the case of, of iOS, it would say you can make those set those adjustments in settings or you can go to your actual Mac to do that and if you were on Android then it would say well go to a web browser on an actual PC of some sort not great um, if for whatever reason you needed to visit iCloud.com um, which one of those reasons is we were just talking about this the other day if you want to add rules to mail um, the only way to do that other than in the mail app on your on Mac OS is to go to iCloud.com and set up those rules uh, for sorting and filtering through your mail. So now you can access iCloud.com from your iOS and Android devices. Do you have to do it in Safari? Uh, well, you can do it on Android, so you don't have to don't have to be on Safari to um, to, to do that, which I think is great. Um, because again, there are some things that iCloud.com can do. Uh, that you can't currently do uh, there. Now, it doesn't support all of the apps and services that are on um, iCloud.com. So the, it will take some time, in theory, that they will add more. Uh, but it is nice that uh, you, can, you can visit those. And in fact, on iPad, so iPhone does its own special version of iCloud.com. Uh, but if you use iPad, it's pulling the full desktop version. In Safari. Yeah, yeah. In, in Safari. That's one yeah. of the best things about the new iOS 13 Safari. 
desktops. Mm -hmm. It's desktop versions for most websites, I Let's think. Let's see what happens when I try to visit it from iCloud.com. I mean, from Chrome. Chrome. It probably says, you shouldn't be using this browser. It says, what browser What's are you using, you? you fool? At least it, it, it lets you log in oh, automatically. No. Good afternoon, Micah. I got so, it all. So that's nice. You get the desktop version on every browser. Good. Yep. Good. Yep. As it should be. As it should be. By golly. By gosh. Uh, let's have a funny haha -ha moment. Um, the caucuses are going on. Uh, and on. And on and, and on, on, on. And on. You know. Well, I'm going to say one thing. Okay, please. If it's an explanation of what the heck a caucus I, is, oh, then God, that's what I'd that's like insane. to know. They used an app, which they uh, deployed at the very last minute. <laughs> yes. Uh, didn't give anybody training, uh, required them to download it. Uh, you would get a warning uh, if you download it on Android saying, hey, this app could be dangerous. There's all sorts of things. But the first thing that came to my mind is if, you get, if you're going to have an app made to do elections of any kind don't get it from a company called shadow <laughs> uh isn't no, that I, the bad guy in yeah, sonic I, I have no idea yeah i have no idea so uh, you know there's two two sides to every story they want to get it right kudos to them remember the florida butterfly ballot sometimes these things take time and you don't want to announce incorrect election results florida butterfly batter you don't remember that? Oh, yeah, that's why. You were eight oh, at the time. What happened when I was eight, Leo? In the year 2000, Micah, when uh -huh. you were just a child, uh -huh. um, Florida had a ballot that was confusing to people who voted. And, of course, it became, in the in the end, it became a Supreme Court matter Ooh. over whether those ballots should be recounted, what should happen to those ballots. Uh, it was the Gore-Bush uh, presidential election, and they actually decided the result of the election. Uh, and these ballots were confusing. So uh, you don't want that to happen, right? No. Uh, the, the way it works in the United States, for those of you who <laughs> live in more sensible countries, <laughs> is every locality gets to do whatever the hell they want, any way they want to do it. And so voting machines are regionally decided upon, not federal decision. It's not a federal election, because, or it's not a national election, because we are a federal a country where every state has its own way of doing things. In this case, it's not even the state. It's the Democratic Party. It's a political party that makes the rules and decides how they want to do their pre-presidential uh, candidate selection. Before the election, each party has to select a candidate. Now, right. if you have a sitting president, that's a no-brainer. You pick that guy. Mm -hmm. But the Democrats are out of office. They're, uh, uh, they're looking to get in office. So they have a large number, as you probably know, of candidates. And so they're going to have a series of uh, contests. I didn't say elections. Contests to determine who gets delegates, who gets the nomination later this year. The way Iowa does it, first in the nation, they don't have a election they don't have a ballot as you know you probably watched tv last night they have people go in a gym <laughs> and they sit in different sections and then they move around oh, and at boy. the end of the night the poor precinct captain who's responsible for that particular place is supposed to write it down and this year they even changed the rules they're not only writing down who won they're writing down who was the first choice then after realignment who was the second choice and then how many delegates each candidate got they used to write it down <laughs> And and kind of hand deliver it to this the central office in this in, I guess in Des Moines I don't know where it is, uh, but this time they got this app but they only got it a few weeks ago nobody knew how to use it it didn't work, it was a mess. Yeah, <laughs> good for them. They do the thing that's the most important thing that every election should do. They have a paper trail. Yes, every single person who participated in the caucuses wrote down their choices on a big piece of paper, which then was handed in. That's now going to be counted by hand, as it should be. The problem is all these candidates have now moved to New Hampshire. They didn't get their prime time day in the sun saying, we won, we won. They spent millions of dollars in Iowa. And, you know, the upshot of this is going to be in four years, Iowa will not be the first event in the Democratic <laughs> Panoply, they will. I think they've lost their shot. I at think this point. so. Anyway, it came down to an app. They wanted to use an app. The state of West Virginia is now looking at voting with an app, and most I saw that. Yeah, most election security, in fact, all. Let's just say all election security experts say terrible idea. 
you know, we're all about technology. Pay, wouldn't we be great to vote on the Internet or vote in an app? It might be if you could secure it. Yes. Every every single election security expert I have ever talked to says paper trail. You need a paper trail. It's the most important thing. If you have just internet voting or voting on an app, there's no paper trail. If it gets hacked, if it you can't validate that that vote was what really the intent of it the would voter. Be, uh, just an absolute nightmare. Would, and that's maybe what we're seeing in a little tiny way, in a relatively inconsequential election. So maybe it's good that yeah, that this is a good time for this to fall now. apart. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't reflect well on the Democratic Party <laughs> or the state of Iowa. Uh, they kind of blew it. Uh, but you know what? This is an important uh, thing. Just because we love technology, we talk about technology. This is our job, our living, our passion, our hobby. Doesn't mean. There is a, a appropriate technological solution for everything. Yes, absolutely, and I think that that's something that I, I we, we, uh, I would hope strive to make clear that yeah, even though I love it, I think it's great. You and I are both going. There should be a paper trail. Paper, you paper, paper over. Paper. Yeah. Every computer expert says paper, paper, paper. Whether you have an electronic voting machine that spits out a receipt, most of them that's the idea, and that you have that receipt. You look at that receipt. It says. Yes, you voted for this, this, mm -hmm. this, and this. You keep that receipt, or maybe you hand it in, and they can be counter-checked. That's great. And that's actually what happened in Iowa, so that's what's delaying the results. Apparently, the, something went wrong. I think the precinct captains were confused by the three different reporting numbers they were supposed to send. I think the uh, app didn't work. Someone got uh, hung up on during... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they didn't want phone calls or expect phone calls. So when they started getting a lot of phone calls, they couldn't handle them. There's something like 1,300 precincts. So there's a 1,000 phone calls coming in. They are put, they were on hold for hours. The whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's just a nightmare. It's just, I, all we can do is laugh. Because uh, we're not there. <laughs> yeah. It, isn't, it is not a critical election. It is a caucus, which has always been kind of interesting. But it is the first, and it's the beginning of the primary season in the United States. So we'll have to see how it plays out from here, huh? I think I think this means I. I'm sorry, Iowa, but I think the Hawkeye is it the Hawkeye State, Buckeye State, Buckeye State. <laughs> sorry, I don't even know if that's true. Is it the great state of Kansas? The Iowa. I think the Buckeye State is not going to have pride of place in the future. The Nick, Nick. But it's up to the Democrats. Remember, this is a there. It is. It is Hawkeye. You were right. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry. I'm not an idiot. Where are the Buckeyes? Ohio. Oh. <laughs> our liberties we prize and our rights we maintain and an app, our apps we shall not use. <laughs> okay. You know what Missouri's uh, nickname is? The, the, uh, the uh, I don't, uh, the Sooner State, the uh, surprise, <laughs> the show me state. Show me state. That's right. Yeah. Those things are kind of antiquated. They're aren't stupid. They? Yeah. What does that even mean? Show me, because I'm from Missouri. You never heard that phrase? No, I know it. I I'm just, from Missouri. Show yeah, me. Show me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. That was we're just, skeptical. I don't know why we're skeptical. You're the most skeptical state in the union. Yeah, what is That's that not true. No um, <laughs> so, so this is kind of nice. It's heart month right now, uh, by the way. Hello to your heart and a hello from mine. How uh, is your heart? My heart's doing all right. All right, mine too. I, uh, I'm actually, well, that's, that's a aside. You're fit as a fiddle? I'm, my heart's great. That's, that, nice. that's, what's that's important. all you need to say. That's all I need exactly. Let me just check my heart. I'm loading the cardiogram app. Believe it or not, given the wow. fact that I am doing Look live television, I'm that's only 64 beats rate. per minute. Whatever you're doing is working. That's a great resting That's kind of stunning. Oh, it's going up now. Oh, oh nice. And there's somebody in my nice. driveway. Oh, now it's going to go up. <laughs> now it's really going up. <laughs> 74. <laughs> 68. It's Very going up good. a little bit. I good guess, you know, you. it's like... Uh, so the Apple Watch, I think, is a great, great tool. Mm -hmm. And now you can get one for less. Well, yeah. So they Apple is uh, bumping up the trade-in value. Uh, it's... If you were to trade in a Series 2 or a Series 3 before, it was not very much money. Uh, now it's still not a whole lot of money, but $100 toward a new Apple Watch is it's still quite a bit. It's not bad if you paid 250 or 350 I mean, that's not that's a pretty that's a good, good point. I guess if you bought one when they were on sale, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Um, so you can get an Apple Watch Series 5 uh, starting at 299 if you trade in a Series 2 or a Series 3. Uh, okay. That is sort of Apple Watch's deal, or, or Apple's deal right now for get, heart. Get the Apple Watch, I love it. Honestly, yeah, it's fantastic. And if you have an older Apple Watch, 
as a person who has had heart issues in the past, upgrading to the series four and then you know now the series you five. Had a, you had a broken heart. Was I all, did? It's all. It's, it's all. It's been put back together. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> Having the Wait, where's watch. that hug emoji? <laughs> where's the gummy bears the hugging? Weird Come on, sugar free. <laughs> oh, gross. Um, ew, slimy. Ugh. Can you imagine when they pull apart? Ew. Ew. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Um, <laughs> trade it in, get a new one. If uh, that sounds good. Now to I you. wonder what they're gonna do with Great. the trade ins. Recycle them. No, I bet you sell them. Ew, are they going to refurb them? They'll refurb them and sell them. Why would they? Thirty dollars. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> it's only four billion. Yeah, uh, that w that is a good question. I don't know yeah. if they're going to recycle yeah. them or refurb them. Yeah. Uh, but 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 oh, an update. We had talked before about the oh god, if I can click this link, I swear to God, Google you're going to vote in March. March 3rd. Yes. Um, right. Primary. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm talking about an update on... Um, Apple, the, uh, the novel coronavirus. The, yes, the novel coronavirus. <laughs> my son's in Asia right now, and my my uh, his mother and I both bombarded him with uh, Apple messages about what not to do and where to wash your hands and don't, you don't touch surfaces and whatever you do, don't touch your face. And, <laughs> and don't climb into pools with hundreds of other people. So the so the uh, Apple stores closed in China. I think there was some concern that after the new year, the Lunar New Year ended uh, today, it actually uh, or yesterday it ended. Uh, they they delayed the uh, return to the markets, um, but there was some concern that the factories wouldn't be up to full production. Uh, but we have some news. We do have some news. Um, so suppliers and at all are uh, planning to resume full production by February 10th. Next Monday. So uh, they took a couple weeks, as they always do for Lunar New Year. Mm -hmm. um, they had delayed the return till February 3rd. Now they're going to say, okay, one more week, and then we're back to work. I don't know if that's prudent. I know. It seems like it's not. I mean, it's not over yet. <laughs> it's not everybody's. Is everybody better? Right. You all I, feeling good? Okay, good. Never more mind. than 20,000 people infected and 400 dead, but we're resuming production next week. I think what happened is the real fear, because that's a, to be, I mean, that's a terrible toll, but to be honest, there's nothing compared to, say, the seasonal flu. Right. Which kills tens of thousands in mm -hmm. the U.S. every year. So... The real fear was that they didn't know much about this new so it was more virus, like a wait and, see kind of and thing, it huh? might mutate mm -hmm. and become much more deadly. Uh, and I, I guess they're thinking, no, okay, we kind of get it now. Yeah, we got it under control. We got it under control. We know what not to do. We've all played Plague Inc. We know how to yeah. figure this out. Now. Turns out it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a not easily spread through the air by aerosolized. Oh, really? As the flu and the colds, cold especially are. It's surfaces. So oh, wash your hands. Wash your hands. That's a lot. good to know. And I also told him, don't go to any live animal markets if you can help it. Oh yeah. yeah. What do you eat? I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Beans and rice, rice <laughs> which is we're both having for lunch. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> this is interesting too. I I saw some blowback on this story, uh, or rather this this thing. Apple News is saying that it has the uh, most comprehensive resource for oh. the 2020 presidential election um, via Apple News. Now they what, did a deal with somebody, didn't they? Uh, one of the television networks for coverage, right? Uh, ba -ba -ba, Apple ba -ba, with reporting analysis from ABC, CBS, CNN, 538, Fox News, NBC, ProPublica, oh, Reuters, Los Angeles Times, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Washington they put Times, it? USA Today, and others. Is it's there a, a special section? It's supposed to be right at the top. I my see today. Um, I see my channels, but I don't. Yours isn't showing up? In oh, fact, there's, I, there's, there's no... a link. I'm going to send it to you. Oh, do I have to add something? I didn't. Except... Oh, I don't know how to get to it. Apple News Spotlight 2020 election. Well, that's great. But here's the thing is that uh, Apple sort of touting this is we've got all this coverage and it's not Apple that has the coverage. They've just put together coverage from Well, that's okay. Sources. I it's okay. I just I think that that is a fair criticism to make. Yeah, yeah. Just to to completely well, especially say, since I don't thing. see any actually election coverage on the front page of my Apple News. But remember, that's because I don't know what I like the what they've done with the the page you're looking at. I wish I knew how to get to it. 
I sent you the link just a moment well, ago. I know, but I closed it. Oh. Um, there <laughs> I might, but I mean, why don't it. they put this? Right. Why is it not maybe, one of the tabs? Uh, 2020 Olympics. That works. <laughs> um, I got a story about them adding coverage. How do you, how do you get to that, Apple? Here it is, Election Central. So I'm going to, I think that's it. No, it's something else. Who's Election Central? Is that well? I'm going to add that. No, that's a place. These are these are sources. Oh wait a minute, it's under topics. 2020 U.S. election. Let me look at that. That's not the one you that's sent me either. Sent you. How do you get to it, Apple? What is maybe the deal? I just it hasn't been rolled out yet. Oh, to me. so you just have to yeah. use the link for now. Yeah. Wait, no, I need to find it again. <laughs> So I'm sometime to myself, just probably before I would guess before November, maybe before November 7th, they'll have an election section in Apple News. Yeah, I just it should. But they've got a newsroom like it's in Apple's newsroom that this is <laughs> this is they've announced it themselves. This isn't like a, a secret thing. Oh, I oh, 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 I just got it. Look at that. I pulled down and refreshed. And it, it was I was here for you and I pulled down and now I have. This more from 2020 U.S. Well, that's still not it. No, that's the one I added. So I don't know what it is. That's why it's there now. Because where I added it. do you go to get? So it? maybe you'll get it sometime before November. Real time election results data from the Associated Press for each state primary, providing county by county so cool. results. National there is an opportunity here to do something. Uh, be, you know, so what are you competing against? You're competing against newspapers and TV. Mm -hmm. There's something that you could do in between. That Apple could do with kind of up real-time updating data, graphs, you know, charts. I like the buttons for issues so you can go and see which each candidate's position is on those issues. I think that there is something really cool Apple could do because of the interactivity uh, of, uh, of the iPad and Apple News. So, And this is my I favorite they part. Do it. They have a news literacy guide. Very nice. Yeah. He's there dropping me again the link. This is for the specifically for the news literacy. Five guide. steps to avoid election misinformation. Keep an mm, eye on good. your emotions. Don't like or share an article you haven't read. Oh, that that happens so much, doesn't it? Learn to spot misinformation. Patterns. So that's why, honestly, instead of this, say don't get your election news from Facebook, Facebook Twitter, and Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Ew, t Instagram. Oh yeah, people get a lot of news from Instagram. Don't you fools! <laughs> I love you, you fools. Don't. Uh, you know, and maybe Apple, you know, Apple News might make, make a really good alternative if it's kind of ob objective and that's, uh, yeah, takes that's no position, thing. but is all about information. I like that. So, you know what? I hope someday I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the candidates. I like that they have um, little, little uh, illustrations little for each candidate. And it's a guide, so I can tap on good old Lizzie, and it shows a whole thing about her information here. She's 70. I had no idea she was 70. Yeah. She looks good. You'll leave her if you fear aggressive regulation, happen to be a billionaire, or are unimpressed by her muddy response to the Medicare for All debate. Let's see what they say about DT. So that's a little, I guess that's a little, that e felt calling a little. that a muddy response is a little editorializing. I mean, I guess you have to a little bit. But. Uh, you'll leave him if you believe that he has fanned the flames of <laughs> racism this, and nationalism. Look at this quote that they provide. I could stand that's a little. That's middle. a little slanted too. Yeah, this, yeah. Let's see what, let's see what. <laughs> All right, uh, never mind, Apple. Let's see Thank what, you. Nice. It was an opportunity. What quote she has. I am a capitalist. What I don't believe in is theft. What I don't believe in is well, cheating. Who could disagree with that? Yeah, let's see what they say about Mr. Sanders. Let's see what they say. Bernie Colonel will say, Sanders I'm a communist. Here. Oh. To beat Trump, you're going to need a massive voter turnout. The only way you do that <laughs> is the campaign the of energy, energy and excitement. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? I was of. watching somebody last night. Smart pack. Who said that they became a Bernie fan after watching Larry David do <laughs> Bernie Sanders on Saturday Night Live. Like, that's how they became a Bernie fan. And I just wanted to say, well, but that's not Bernie. That's Larry David. And well, how, what do you who mean? Who does an excellent can, Bernie. But what does that have to do with, like, the right person for the job? Well, I don't know. People vote for strange reasons. That's see true. how good, see how, see how good. Tom. There's a very, yeah, Tom Steyer, yeah. I'm running because I believe the primary thesis of the 2020 campaign is the corporate takeover of the government of the United States. Too many big words. Yeah. Uh, where's her? This is... Klobuchar. I like Amy. I've brought people with me who are moderate Republicans and independents in every single election. Where are, they're I've sitting in the, the back seat? Of red Where are they? <laughs> you, bring them, you bring them to lunch? <laughs> okay.
<laughs> All right. You know what? No pull quote's going to really reflect that's, anything. Yeah. That's point. a bad idea. The giant pull quote. Oh, he's got green. I got to vote for him now. Oh, he's green. See? Let's see. <laughs> Talking about hope and belonging. Wow. That's a good quote. But do not call it naive. I think I'm going to vote for him. <laughs> is it because of the green? Yeah. Or is it because he's of the green? And he's he used uh, naive and optimistic, but not naive. That's exactly what I'm looking for. In optimistic, but not naive. Yeah. All right, let's move on um, to an ad, <sighs> to a support from our sponsor. You know what? It's a green sponsor. It's a very nice color. It's minty, fresh. Oh, mint. it's Mint Mobile. Oh, that was yesterday. I was We're, wearing my Mint Mobile socks yesterday. Darn it! We have become Mint Mobile fans around here, and it's not not the least because Ryan because Reynolds I'm a Ryan owns Reynolds them. Fan, let's be real. <laughs> no, no, it is because They're Mint great. Mobile gives you the best best price on the same premium network coverage you're used to, because they don't have stores. They're just online. They don't. They save money. Re, they aren't T-Mobile, but they sell T-Mobile service. So, in effect, if you like your T-Mobile service, where you are, you will love Mint Mobile using the T-Mobile towers. They're in what we call an MVNO, Mobile Virtual Network Operator. You can cut your bill with Mint Mobile. You can cut it down to 15 bucks a month. Nice. With their new uh, introductory three-month plan. I liked it so much. I tried it, and I said, wait a minute. Forget three months. I bought a year, 300 bucks, got a whole year. That's 25 bucks a month. I get unlimited text, unlimited talk in the within the US. I get 12 gigabytes a month of data. I have yet to use even half that. But that's but I could for 25 bucks I couldn't resist it. Yeah, that's a great price. I said I'm doing it. I'm doing all my phones on this. Every plan comes with unlimited nationwide talk, text, crazy fast 4G LTE. It's not some slowed down LTE. You get the full speed. You use your own phone. If you want, you can bring your own phone. They have a little uh, checker on the website that will tell you if your phone will work. You can, no matter what you do, whether you bring your old phone or buy a new phone, bring your same phone number with you. You can port your number over. All your contacts come over. If you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered. A seven-day money-back guarantee. This is just such a good deal. At least do the $15 three-month introductory plan. $15 a month. And, of course, they ship you the SIM. And they, unlike many others, they don't charge it. They just send it to you for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash iOS. You've been looking for a way to cut your cell phone bill. I have found the best way. There's nobody less. This is amazing. I'm so happy with my $25 buck a month plan. But go for the 15 3 three-month introductory plan. All the details at Mint. M I N T Mobile, M O B I L E, mintmobile.com slash iOS. Thank you, Mint Mobile, for supporting iOS today. We appreciate it. And thank you for supporting iOS today by using that special address. That way they know you saw it here. Mintmobile.com slash iOS. And, it, you know, I have T Mobile on some of my other phones. It's, exa it's exactly the same. Frankly, it's better than some other carriers, which I won't mention. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, so this one comes from Wayne from Burlington who asks, who says, firstly, I recently got a 2019 Chevy Equinox with CarPlay. Nice. Not the most expensive unit, so you have to plug your iPhone in via lightning cable yep. to connect. Just like our Chevy Bolt. Um, ordered a magnetic cable from Amazon. Ooh. It charges using uh, oh. that cable, but won't connect this to is, facilitate CarPlay. This is not unusual. Any suggestions yes, to connect without cable. the cable? <laughs> yeah, so I understand he wants to be able to, Wayne wants to be able to magnetic plug that great. little magnetic so, dealy into the bottom there, and then you boop, and then you have it free, boop, boop, boop. It just almost is like it pulls on it, sucks it right in. But there's not much of a difference between having to fidget f with the magnetic thing and then also well, just let using me, a normal Let me cable. explain what's happening, and this happens all the time, people, especially when you buy cables on Amazon. You can buy a charging-only cable, which that is. Mm. doesn't have any data on it. Now, you might want that cable. In fact, I'd keep that cable around because when you're at an airport or visiting a friend or at a bar, you don't want to plug your phone into some strange USB port. You don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> so it's a good idea to have a charging-only cable, so don't throw it out. But you need a data plus charging cable. And I bet you you can get a magnetic one that will do that. I think that that's just that cable. Yeah. And it's not clear. So 
if you can find a magnetic cable that's MFI, made for iPhone, it will do both. Mm -hmm. It'll, but look in the fine print, see if it's data and charging. Maybe, maybe if you look in the fine print on that magnetic cable, it says charging cable. If it says charging cable, yeah, it's not going to work for CarPlay. You need both because it needs to send a signal to the pass you know, that data over yeah, and say, "Hey, I'm here." Hey, and uh, hey, here. send me some music. So that's what happens. And it happens all the time. It's good to have charging only cables, but you should label them or make, you know, make sure you remember cuz you can't synchronize with it. You can't, you know, you can't plug it into your computer either. It's not going to work. Yeah. There's your, there you go. That's great. Uh, so hopefully I I've not never used any of those magnetic cables cuz they kind of weird I me like out. the idea. I like the idea, but I don't like the You don't like a magnet on your phone? No, it's just I don't know. I there's some I just don't want anything to cause an electric issue. Did you use... What if you get a little bit of what if you got like a little bit of uh some sort of metal onto the magnet and then when you went to make the connection the because short circuit yeah, the whole thing then, oh, that would be good. And then your car's Do you have are you you work in an environment where there are lots of little bits of metal floating around? In fact, yes, because I am a dentist who uses ah. old school fillings ah, and not the okay. new resin based right. fillings. Well no that's reason that's reason enough. Thank you. Um you used a MagSafe connector on your Macintosh laptop? You used to before USB C yeah. Yeah. same idea. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the fillings didn't get in there. No. <laughs> the iron filings as you try to break out of the jail we we keep you in yes. at night. Yes, yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> I knew that sound was <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this is at your house? This is where the jail is? <laughs> I don't like this. Um, uh, okay, here's another. Only new employees. We, you, you've established tenure, so we don't do that with you anymore. Um, now, I'm hearing due to privacy, more and more people are not backing up to iCloud. Good. How do I turn off backing up to iCloud? And if I do, uh, does it turn off syncing like contacts, no. calendars, etc.? Just backing up. And if it doesn't turn off syncing, yeah. wouldn't that still be roughly the same as backing up to iCloud? Well... This is Tony from Joyzy. Tony, hey, Tony, how you doing? How you doing, Tony? So, Tony, of course, anything you sync is in now in the cloud and is uh, has that same privacy issue. So your contacts, your calendar, that kind of thing. But backup backs up everything else too, mm -hmm. all the other data. And so what people have learned uh, from recent news stories and not so recent news stories is that even though Apple <clears throat> syncs with encryption to the cloud and encrypts it in the cloud, they have the keys. And you know what? Every cloud service, with, with a very few exceptions, every cloud service does the same thing because that's how they can provide services like, I forgot my uh, password. How do I get my data? It's how they can dedupe data if you have duplicate files, saves them space, saves you time. It's how they can uh, download individual files because if you think about it, if you used iCloud and you had it encrypted and they couldn't decrypt it, you could only get that big encrypted blob. You couldn't get an individual file out of it. There's all sorts of reasons that cloud services keep the keys and uh, and that's a potential privacy violation. If, you know, if law enforcement goes to them, they can give you the data. That's how we know about this because this has happened many, many times. Uh, but also if they get hacked... Or you get a customer service representative who believes more in service than security. Maybe a bad guy can get your data. So that's the risk. Uh, syncing is always going to be that risk if you sync. So some people choose not to sync to iCloud either. Uh, I, I have a mail service I use called FastMail that supports the kind of syncing that Apple stuff does. It's called CardDev for your address book and CalDev for your cal cal dav and card dav dav not dev for your calendar and your uh, cards you could sync to fast mail mm -hmm. you could run your own card dev cal dev server on a on a nas at your house there's all sorts of ways to do synchronization that don't send the data to apple that's a lot of work but if that's what you want to do if you don't i think it's pr maybe prudent it's it's made me think twice about iCloud backup. It's certainly the most convenient way when you get a new phone, if you've got iCloud backup turned on, you just say, yeah, down, start over, but download all the data from the cloud. It's easy. Right. Uh, the safe way, the secure way, the encrypted way, and Renee Ritchie has been talking about this on uh, uh, MacBreak Weekly, is to use a cable, USB, not a charging cable, a data <laughs> cable, connect it to your computer, Windows or Mac, and use 
Uh, it used to be iTunes. What do they call it now? Music? What do you use to sync? To now? sync, it's the actual the sync just thing. the finder. It's the finder. Finder. Yeah. You sync. And it, when you do that, when you connect the phone, it'll come up and you said, and you, there's a backup button. And you'll notice above it, there's a encrypt this backup button. Check, check that and give it a password. Don't forget it. Because this is real encryption, which means if you forget the password, Apple can't help you. That's, by the way, a good sign. It means they don't have it. Yeah, it means no one except you has it. Yeah. And if you don't have that's it, then no one has it. it. <laughs> yeah. So that's why Apple has chosen, among other reasons, that's why Apple chooses not to fully encrypt your stuff on the cloud so they can restore your password if you forget it. But if you do this on your uh, device, on your uh, computer, I, I think it's easily the fastest way to back up and restore. It's faster than iCloud is. And it's fully encrypted. It's fully private. If you're worried about it, does, turning off iCloud backup does not turn off sync. If you're worried about syncing to Apple, if you don't want them to get any of your information, you can have syncing go either turn off syncing entirely or sync to something you control. Very well put, sir. Thank you. One last question comes from Ginger. We do have a magnetic charging cable. It looks like it's not lightning. It's a micro USB. What good would yeah. that be? I was about to pop in and, and look for that link, but yeah. So we'll keep an eye on the chat. You know, though, it might have different tips. Some of these magnetic chargers have a standardized magnet, <gasps> oh. and then you could have a lightning or USB tip. But that's, I bet, what our... But what the data, our listener had, and data would not work in that case. Yeah, because yeah. data wouldn't necessarily be yeah. the same, huh? So you want MFI. Uh, last question comes from Jin Ginger Rogers from somewhere, Indiana. And she asks, what's this new show, Hands on iOS, I heard about? Oh, please. You're making that up. I am making that up. Uh, but I did want to do a little <laughs> yeah, spot. Yeah, plug it. Uh, Hands on iOS is a new show that we just launched. Uh, one of the, I think, four new shows we're going to be doing this year. Um, that is a short format show. I just recorded my first two episodes yesterday. Uh, the first one will hit this Thursday. Uh, if you have questions, how, how long? Ten minutes? Uh, yeah, ten minutes at most. Uh, Five minutes. Yeah, ten and minutes. And at so most. it's tips, mm -hmm. tips, tricks. tricks. Uh, it's app reviews, quick reviews, and it's questions if you have them. Nice. Uh, that you know, if 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 you want to send them here, you want to send them to hands on iOS, kind of send them there. They'll cross pollinate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more in depth if we, you know, we're over there. This all started. We did ask the tech guy, got a great response. Then we did hand. Actually, it started with hands on tech. Mm -hmm. Our product review show got a great response. Ask the tech guy followed hands on photography with Aunt Pruitt. And now we're thinking we might want to do a whole series of hands ons. Mm -hmm. So hands on iOS will be the first, but I think we're going to do some other ones. Yeah. And someone says, Will hands on Linux be one of the shows? It might. Might, might not. We'll see. I begged them to let me do that. I, we're gonna I, we're I gonna launch it. the others first, but uh I am I'm, I'm hoping to do Mac and Linux. Um Jason Howell's gonna do Android, you're gonna do iOS. Mm -hmm. And we still have to, uh, is Ant going to do hands-on Windows? No, but we do have one for him. I oh, yeah. I like the new one Ant's working on. Yeah. 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 We'll be fine. So these, we, we thought we'd try, because, you know, most of our shows are long listens, and uh, we know you mostly like those. They do very well. But we thought maybe there was a market, uh, or an audience, I should say, for quick hits with mm -hmm. tips and tricks, and there seems to be. So we're yeah. going to do more of those as well. So stay tuned. That's... Uh twit.tv slash HOI to subscribe to Hoi! the show in different Hoi! Hoi! And now it's time for App Caps. Boop, 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 Put boop, on boop. your fancy hat. hat. It's time for App Caps. I thought you were going to make me wear a Kansas City Chiefs oh, hat. Oh, no, I'm not that mean. No, I'm not I, really I, mean I am, at all. I am very happy for Andy Reid and, and Patrick Mahomes, the MVP. Honestly, Andy so Reid, I just want to give him a sugar-free uh, gummy bear hug. Aww. He seems so sweet. Who, oh, Andy? He? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a sweetheart. Really, really amazing fella. And good for 24-year-old Mahomes, too. Yeah, it's such incredible. a kid. Man, at the beginning of the season, I'm looking at Mahomes and thinking, is he 12? <laughs> he's so young. Yeah, but he's... Quite talented. Why, uh, why are we wearing funny hats? Because we like to. Um, and That's also, really the answer. <laughs> and also because it's time to honor our app picks of the week. These are the apps that we're using, that we're loving. Um, I don't even know what this thing is I'm wearing on my head, to be perfectly it's a, honest. It's, um, is it a jester's cap? It is sort of. You're the king of spades. Oh. Yeah. A very merry unbirthday to, to you. you. And you. Yeah. And you... And you are the king of clubs. I'm the king of Russia, Soviet oh. Union. 
Oh. I bought this uh, in the, in St. Petersburg. Would you like my American iPhone? Yes, I would. And I'd like to put my apps on you. Oh, very well. All over you. <laughs> put, I want to put my apps all over you. All over you. I'm sounding a little... Um, uh, you sound good. You sound like my buddy Ivan. Ah, is he a vampire? <laughs> yes. Or a vam- All vampire. Russians are vampires. <laughs> <laughs> or as we say, vampires. Yes, he's a vampire. Yes. What is vodka. your app? Cap? Mine is a vodka app. No, he's not. Is it? No. Uh, mine is called AeroPress Timer, and this app has actually been around for a long, time. Wait long a minute. T- AeroPress? I make my coffee every morning with an AeroPress. Good. This is for that? This is for that. You're going to love it. What the what? You're going to love it. Are you an AeroPress user too? Hands down. So this is how Lisa and I kind of first bonded. Yeah, Lisa's Lisa's the one who really loves her arrow press. So this we learned about this, believe it or not, from Dicti Bartolo. Wait, you already know about the arrow press timer? No, but oh, the arrow press. Oh, the arrow press. Many okay, moons ago, it's made by the same people who, who make, make a frisbee. Yeah, the uh, the it's not Whammo that makes the original frisbee. They make these guys make the fake ring frisbee. Yes. But uh, the Aero B, oh, they call excellent. it. excellent. Here's an Aero Press. Thank you. If you've not used this, it is simply put the best, easiest way to make a cup of coffee, a connoisseur cup of coffee. And best is a very important thing to use there because it has won national championships of, like among uh, baristas as yeah. the most tasty but coffee. But it's like $30. It's inexpensive. It's, it's portable. Yeah. You get these little uh, paper filters that go in there. You put a couple of tablespoons of coffee and some now, hot water. Now, do you water. do inverted method? No, or you do? I do the inverted method. Wow. Yeah. I don't even understand how that works. So... Well, we'll talk about that, too, because there are different recipes. So let me open the app here. Okay. AeroPress so this, timer. Like I said, it's- This is amazing. I'm so excited. Been around for a long time, and it has an Apple Watch companion app that I would show you if I had not forgotten an my Aero Apple Watch B, this morning. by the way, says Eric Duckman, is not a Frisbee. It's not even a disc. Okay, excuse me. No, it's me. a ring. I think I said Sorry, that. a Frizz ring. <laughs> it's not, it flies like a Frisbee. It's a flying thing you throw- Okay, it is not a plastic French press. No. <laughs> Do not get me started. No, 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 no. It's a little bit like a plastic no. French press. Fr- okay, here we go. So a French press, when you make coffee with a French press, yeah. people think that that device is a storage unit for the hot coffee. That's for the a mistake. Portion. You cannot keep the coffee in there. Yeah, you it have is to pour a, it out. You pour it into something else to keep it hot. Because otherwise it'll continue to brew. With a French press, you are using a coarse ground coffee to right. make French press coffee. A you French press to. is specifically for multiple uh, servings of coffee. A pot. Yes, and it needs to go into another pot afterwards. This is not a French press. This is a this single is more cup, akin, akin to a uh, a an espresso press. And you use a fine brew and almost yes. an espresso grind mm-hmm. because you're going to press it through. It also has a paper filter, not a metal filter. <laughs> And it takes a little bit of elbow grease sometimes. It does. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, the amount of elbow grease it takes is dependent upon... Directly the, proportional to... Uh, yeah, to the... To the, the I'm coarseness ch- of the grind. Which one was it? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm paying attention to the chat now. Y'all, y'all got me. Okay, so... In the AeroPress timer, there are several different recipes. Uh, there are recipes that kind of have a name uh, that give you a little bit of an insight into what they are. But oh, also... I didn't even know you could do more than one thing with this. Two cup recipes. So that if you want what? to make coffee for two people... No, that's cray cray. And then last but not least, I'm my not favorite part is the championship pack. These are the recipes that won at the barista champion uh, competition. This implies I have to buy that? What do you mean? The championship pack? Uh, uh, it's no, no, no. It's it's four ninety nine for the app. It comes uh, with all the stuff. Um, oh, you, okay. You're gonna have to really convince me. I need a four ninety nine app. I'm gonna for show you thirty dollar coffee. I'm gonna maker. show you in a moment okay. why. So uh, <laughs> here's first place, second place, and third place, and then different countries what they entered with uh, in making their recipes, and then uh, last but not least is the roaster pack, which is uh, dependent on like if you buy. You know what's funny. This doesn't even come from Araby. Right. This, this comes is from a third party who really cares a lot. He does. Um, the I like the Roaster Pack because I used to have a subscription to Blue Bottle before they were bought by Nestle, which is a terrible <gasps> crash company. Sad. Um, and Sad. I stopped my Blue Bottle subscription after that. But these, uh, this is like the best way to make coffee from the AeroPress using beans from these companies. Now, I'm going to choose wow. uh, because- I didn't know there was so much science. Italy- is yeah. uh, obviously it knows it's coffee and it uses the inverted method, which is the method that I like to use. So I'm going to tap on that so you can see. I don't understand. Okay, temperature. Up at the top, it shows you the brew method that you want to use, in mm-hmm. this case, inverted. It tells you how many grams of coffee you want. Oh, I'm glad I have a scale. 
You do, right? Oh, yeah. Good. Um, I don't use it, but I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and then the grind size, it actually calls for a more coarse, coarse grind, grind, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, 250 grams of water total. Okay. You want your water to be at 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And then the total time for the coffee is 180 seconds. Now, here's where the magic happens. You put in your 22 grams of coffee in the bottom of your AeroPress, yeah. and then you hit- Wait a minute, what holds it in? The, the your AeroPress is upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put the suction on into here. Yeah. And then- You put it in there? You put the coffee into here. Okay. And then you pour the water on top of it. Yeah. And then the last step is to put the thing on top. Oh, and then, and then invert it. Yeah. You know, I've, I've heard about people doing it this way. I just never knew how. Sort of thought, pictured it. Doesn't yeah. all the hot water come out? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I'm going to uh, hit start. Why, what's the advantage of doing it that way besides looking strange? Um, so, what would you say? Yeah, you can brew it longer, uh, but also sometimes folks Oh, have, you're right. It'll drip through. It'll drip through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do it like this. If you do it, You have to wet the paper filter. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even still, it can sometimes drip through. So this lets you keep all of the coffee That's in there. That's brilliant. Okay, okay, now, okay. I'm starting to get it. I'm going to hit start timer here. Yeah. Prepare to pour. So I'm getting ready. I'm taking Prepare my, my uh, gooseneck kettle off. Now I've got 10 seconds to pour 30 grams of water into the AeroPress. Okay. And then when that's done, yeah, we're going to steep. It's going to steep for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, so I only I do 10 seconds in the mine right side up method. And by the way, like I said, this has an Apple Watch companion app that'll actually <gasps> buzz you. Okay, this is worth getting. So you can, <laughs> okay, you're just so you can be buzzed. $4.99. Uh, Cha-ching. Cha-ching, blibbling. Here you go, beloved robot. <laughs> Uh, then, you know, you let it steep. That's the name of the developer, not the name of my phone. Then you pour the rest of the water. So, of course, you're oh, going to want to... I'm giving um, this to Lisa for her birthday. Use the tear button on your um, your gram scale. Yeah. So that way, you know, you're getting it right. Yep. Then you let it steep for... And then it tells you, uh, now it's time to flip and then plunge. So after it's done, then it's ready. Now, you can do this, like I said, the... Does it really... Can you... I mean, honest. I've actually... I, can you tell the difference? Honestly, I have been able to tell the difference mostly because of the, I think it's the grind size that makes the most difference. Yeah. Uh, between Timing is really important. You don't want to over extract coffee because you get more acidity. You get, you know, coffee is a very complex chemical stew and there's different, there's aromatics, there's different things that compose the flavor, the mouthfeel, the acidity and all of that. And, and that's why the timing, grind, temperature... All is really important in theory, anyway. Yes, I just put a lot of cream and sugar in mine, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. Do you drink it straight? Yeah. So <gasps> you I can, are a man. I can thank my great grandparents for that. When I was a kid um, in Missouri, in Missouri, um, I would stay the night at their house because they lived closer to my elementary school. I bet um, they had a percolator, and my they did, uh, yeah. but they mostly made coffee with their Mister Coffee. Um, but my my, what am I trying to say here? I would stay the night because my elementary school was closer. And yeah. every morning, my great grandma, she grew up after Have the Great a cup Depression. Of coffee, so she'd make so much food for breakfast. Oh, God. And I saw them drinking coffee and I said, I want to drink coffee. You know, you want to yeah. be like the grown ups. Sure. And they said, the only way we're going to let you drink coffee is if you don't put anything in it. And they, I thought, wow, oh, they no. were tough. They were tough. <gasps> but I did it. Wow. And I had a little Triceratops mug. They, had like you know what? They thought you would it. say, oh, it's too bitter. I don't want it. They weren't trying to teach you the right were, way to drink it. Right. They just thought I wasn't going to drink it, but I did. And after that, I was oh like, I'll God. have I another. I do that. I make our 12-year-old son drink whiskey neat because I figure. <laughs> Is this after you make him smoke the whole pack of cigarettes after you come smoking smoke, one? If, if you're going to smoke one, you got to smoke the whole pack. Yeah. Always do that. Um, don't do that. Please, please don't. I beg of you. That's bad parenting. I didn't do that. I swear to God. And then last but not least, you his can, grandparents did, but that's another matter. Uh, you can create your own recipe if you'd like. Oh, uh, why? So They've got a, so many in there. Right? I'd have to try all of these. Um, so I do want to, like I said, you, to answer your question before, the recipes where the grind is different, I can taste more of a difference of course, between them than the temperature uh, or the than time. just the timer yeah. alone. Although methods that involve stirring versus methods that don't make for a different taste, some of them are more acidic and less acidic. You you sold me on this. I, I press I, timer. I am I am so excited. I want to run home and make some coffee. It really is fun. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, is not again from Araby, the makers of the AeroPress. This is from. Beloved robot, but uh, boy, that's 
Nice. My mom must be watching today because she's uh, trolling me. Uh, about grandma and grandpa and the coffee? No, she just texted me, oh, fussy coffee. <laughs> That's what she calls the coffee that I make, fussy coffee. Uh, fussy coffee. She's like, why can't we just have a cup of coffee? Why is it going to take you nine hours? I, you know, I thought everybody in Missouri would just have a percolator, put some Maxwell House in there, or you been if you really want to live it up. House. And you just In let it perk, and you just keep it going all day. We did, whenever we would have family gatherings, we'd bring out the percolator. Love the percolator. What's your app, Cap? I, as you well know. Love to take notes. What? Love to take notes. I do. I really <laughs> overdo the note taking. And really, part of this is that the iPad is the ultimate tool. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something, a couple of things. Something that is a trusted repository of thoughts. It could be notes as I read a book. Mm -hmm. It could be to-do lists. It could be writing. I do, uh, you know, write scripts or I write articles or write forwards. It could be also travel plans. This is actually one of the most common uses for notebooks is I put all our travel plans in there. And that adds another f kind of fillip to all of this. I want to be able to share those notes. Mm. And that's what I've really been looking for is a way to create this stuff and, and share it with my family as we are about to go on a trip. You may remember I uh, set up the 4 a.m. wiki some time ago yes. in the middle of the night. That's why it's called the 4 a.m. wiki. And this is, uh, a wiki's pretty good. It's a web page. It's easy to edit, but it, it requires, it's on the web only, mm -hmm. right? So you have to use a browser. You can't, there's no dedicated apps for it. And frankly, it's probably not that easy to use uh, for family and friends, you know, to edit it. It's kind of, you got to go here to this menu and edit this page. And then when you're editing it, it all looks kind of weird and funky. And that's the one part that I had so much, I have so much trouble with the wiki language. It doesn't remind me of Markdown at How all. How about a Markdown tool what? that does many of the same things? How about that? So you remember I showed you Joplin, which is an open source project. Mm -hmm. This is, um, I think, pretty impressive. This is called. Notion. It's from Notion.so. Okay. And it is a note-taking app that maybe uh, is a similar to Evernote. In fact, it'll import all your Evernote apps uh, or w Outlook uh, or that. A couple of things about it. It is free to use for up to 1,000 blocks. A block is a paragraph of text or an entry. A thousand is a good number. You can delete ones that you don't use and keep using it for free forever. I'm going to go for the $48 a year, $4 a month. If you want to just go month to month, it's $5 a month. That's for the personal account. They also have enterprise. They, their business model really is to get this into business. It's kind of like a wiki. In fact, uh, you can put wiki-like things into it. If you want to edit it, I'm going to hit the edit button. Um, you can use Markdown, which is kind of nice. So this, if I do star star... Um, in, in Markdown, that's bold, right? This is bold. Let's see if yes. it works. Sorry. And then star, star again. Um, and then uh, let's see. After I edit it, what happens? Do I save it? I can't remember. I guess I don't have to save it. Okay, so that's one thing I really like is this is, and by the way, it didn't turn it into bold, so maybe it doesn't understand a complete wiki. Uh, but I do like it that it's not so modal as a wiki, where you're either in editing or you're in, in reading. It's kind of nice. You can put, uh, you can put pictures into it, um, and uh, it can look quite nice. You see tables. Yeah, and it has, wow, that is yeah. pretty. And it has, well, this, and this is one of the things I really like. This is from a, a template. So if I wanted to create, and by the way, uh, I, I just discovered this a couple of days ago, and I've been playing with it. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of depth to it that I probably am not going to be able to show you. But let's show you if I add a page, it's so easy to add a page. I can just say, this is a blank page. I can also choose from a huge number of templates. Roadmap, user research database, meeting notes, class notes, grade calculator, club homepage, roommate space. So if you want to share this with roommates, uh, can I make it bigger? I can't. Um, this is the app, by the way. This is not, there is a web interface. There's apps for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Um, the one I was showing you earlier is actually a travel template under the personal 
uh, templates, but they also have notes and drafts, reading lists, task lists, goals. These are all the things I said I wanted to use. The travel plan template, you can obviously change the picture. You would probably want to. And it has some stock photos, but you, you, know, you can also upload photos even it has you were mentioning unsplash even has pictures from unsplash I love which unsplash. is nice so let's say i want to search for an image for uh, germany because this is a trip to germany and there's quite a few uh, pictures here that i could uh, i could use from unsplash so i'll just put a picture of germany in there this is easy to change unlike a wiki i don't go into a modal mode i can say our trip to germany um Gemini is good too. Let's uh, <laughs> fix that. Uh, you can have discussions. This is the this is the enterprise kind of thing. But also, if you're sharing, so I can add a comment. I can't wait, and that comment goes off on the side. Uh, you know, it can be hidden away, um, and I can show them or not show them. I can have sim simple text. I could put tips in. You see, it has tables. I could put in maps. Uh, phone numbers. So that's a template, which is kind of neat. I'm going to cancel that. I'll uh, save the edits just so that I can uh, I can keep that around. Um, I can go on and on. I have a home page where I could put my recipes, and you see it has this is the recipe template. It has kind of a nice uh, format for that. Ooh. Um, yeah, I I feel like th this. I'm looking, always looking, mm -hmm. for the the way I can uh, do this. It's easy to add icons. It supports all the emojis. So important. Uh, yeah. So all 103,000 emojis. Did you say that? I don't know if you said this already. Uh, it works on like different browsers and things like that. It's, it, it'll it's work nice in your universal. regular browser, but it also has iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows apps. Ooh, it has an app for Mac. And it stores the data, yeah, and it stores the data on the Notion servers. So it's always available on Linux. I'll use the web browser because there's no Linux version for this. Uh, it's, pr it's pretty sophisticated. Well, a couple of things you can't do. Um, it has some default fonts. It's a little hard to change the fonts, but it is very easy to change colors. To change the, I can make this have an orange background oh. for that line only. Um, there's a lot of, uh, it's it's basically a wiki. Uh, if people have used a wiki, you'll recognize some of the wiki-ish things about it. But because they've used this toolbar down here to make it, uh, like for instance with the at sign, I can type in a mention to a person so I can at somebody. I can add date. I can uh, add people. I can add this to a page. I can add a page link into this. But wikis are very good at that kind of thing. Yeah, this this is very neat. So it, I think this is going to be a challenging. It's not. Everybody has different needs in note taking apps, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be uh, an app for somebody who wants to spend some time learning and taking advantage of all the features. If you want simple, you know, Bear, a lot of people like Bear as a very simple markdown notebook. It's very simple. Uh, Joplin is great. It's open source. It's free. There's just a lot of different uh, choices in the market. But I think this one is kind of interesting. And the thing that for me may make this the one that I end up using at least for travel, here's a to-do list that you can check and uncheck, uh, is that... Um, I can share, and that's part uh, that unlimited sharing of individual sections with friends and family for no cost to me or to them. So that's kind of nice. The enterprise stuff, I think, for a business, you're 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 competing against things like uh, Confluence. I think this is, has a lot of features that are very enterprise focused. So um, it's worth probably taking a look at it for that as well. It, for a student as well. I mean, I think the, uh, the the student templates are quite complete. Here's a syllabus template. If you're a teacher, and by the way, it's free in education uh, for students and teachers. Nice. So if you're building things like this. Yeah, like a class wiki. Yeah, and it would be very easy to share that section uh, with everybody in the class without them having to pay for it. Here's a thesis planning template. So all of the things that you need to plan. They've obviously uh, got a lot of people involved in uh, creating these templates, and there and there are a very very large number of them. I'm I'm kind of impressed uh, with the uh, the the depth of this, which makes it a little bit harder to learn. Maybe right here's my movie list, the movies 
uh, you know, that I'm, I'm watching right now from IMDb. Can't wait to see spring, summer, winter, and spring and fall. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> uh, huh? Is it scary? Is it, it's Korean? Okay. Maybe this comes from Korea then. Um, that I can add. Oh, a have movie, you seen? Um, Let's add a movie. What movie should I add? Have you seen uh, b- 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 Parasite yet? I have. Okay, good. Did you like it? I did. I did not. I I thought I thought I wasn't going to like it at first, but by the end, I liked it. It was strange. It was very strange. I was absolutely. Strange. It does not strike me. No as spoilers. A don't worry. Best picture candidate, maybe best foreign picture, but it is nominated for as one of the eight best pictures. Yeah, I think. See, so I'll say this. Given all of the hype, I expected something different from what I got. Um, it's a little. And so I tried to remove. Like Get Out, maybe, or it's a little kind of. It's a, a horror comedy sort of. A little bit. I, it's a political I hate to even say commentary it's scary at all. Um, yeah. I guess I ended up sort of when I. I like your lemons, the, by the way. That's very attractive. Thank you. You've already started playing with this. I have because I think it's really cool. Yeah. When I pulled my hype out of it, the hype out of it, then I liked the film. But that doesn't, I don't think that it lives up to the hype that it got. What, you know, the Academy Awards are Sunday. I better call. Let them know they need to be careful. Yeah. I I, uh, I don't know what I pick for the best picture. I'm still so mad I about like Jojo Rabbit not a lot. winning against. Oh Which my one? God, Jojo Rabbit. I, I was going back to uh, Jennifer Aniston beating out Villanelle. Oh, I know. Still. A lot of people like 1917. I haven't seen it yet, so I, have I haven't to see seen that, that yet. Either. Watch it in the best theater you can get. Best, to, yeah. I've heard like it's, it's mostly one shot. That's and, and the stuff intent exploding to appear that way. Yeah, obviously they didn't. Yes, Kevin yes, yes, Arra, yes, yes. Technical director liked it. Jojo Rabbit, though. Oh my God, that's pretty good. It was so good. That's, not, that's my vote. I'm but, with you. Yeah, I haven't seen 17 or Little Women yet, so. I got some. I got some movies to do. Nineteen. Maybe Little a double Women. feature. We try. At least, and I try every year to see all of the best picture nominees. We're missing two. Um, anyway, Notion free. Uh, there is a paid tier if you want more storage. There's an enterprise tier if you want more people involved. Um, I think the free tier is for many people going to be plenty. Mm-hmm. The real investment is not money, but time. Uh, because and it, isn't that the case for everything? Yeah. Well, no, there are simple things like bear where you know it's pretty intuitive and you just use it. Oh no, I just meant in life. In the life, investment is time. time. It's one thing you can't get more of. Jesus. Yet. Yeah. Never. We're working on those telomeres. Really? That We're working on those telomeres. Oh, I'd love to have a few more years. I'd buy them right now. <laughs> Thank this... you, everybody. I guess I should give up smoking. Uh, Drinking. Smoking. You don't smoke, do no, you? No. Mm, good. Mm, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes iOS Today today. Are we still telling people to check out the survey, or is that uh, is that that and this? I think we've done it. Twit. It's, it well, can I do just it. did Twit. it slash survey 20. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're pretty much wrapping it up, but if you, you didn't get a chance to take it, take it now. We'd love that if you do it. If you have questions or suggestions, if you'd like to email us, it's easy to do. It's, a, it's something you'll remember uh, without any effort. Uh, it's a very simple email address, and Mike is going to tell you. <laughs> it's iOS today at <laughs> twit.tv. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can watch the show. We do it every, uh, every Tuesday around about 9 a.m. Pacific noon Eastern time. That's 1700 UTC. If you want to stop by and watch live at twit.tv slash live or listen live. After the fact, download shows from twit.tv slash iOS, YouTube, or subscribe in your favorite podcast app because there's wonderful podcast apps out there and that makes it easy. show up on your car, please. Yeah, you get it automatically. Yeah, you can listen in your car on the way to work tomorrow. Uh, anything else we want to say? I think that that does it. Oh, uh, twit.community and... Twit.social. Twit.social. Two of our uh, offline social environments. Twit.social is kind of like Twitter. Twit.community is a forum. And, of course, we hang out there as well. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. <laughs> <laughs>